So it seems that nowadays everyone just goes crazy with credit cards. Everyone loves them. You know, everyone has a Best Buy card, a Nordstrom's card, a fancy little American Express. And it seems to be like a little piece of plastic that's just there to make your life easier and lets you buy what you want and when you want it. But however, I believe that credit cards for young adults and students like ourselves are a bad idea and only spell off financial disasters. Um, to begin with, lots of people, you know, they, if they get lucky at our age, they'll get a credit card on their own. But also, lots of times, parents co-sign for credit cards. But however, that's not always the best route, because when that happens, young adults are often misguided and end up learning bad money lessons, and which cause them to buy things that they won't be able to afford down the line. I'm sure many of you have heard some instances where People buy fancy like computers or gadgets, and later on down the line, you know, they don't have money to pay back. And the sad part is that with that trend, credit card companies have begun to catch on to that. And it's sad to know that, for example, Bank of America has an $8.4 million seven-year contract with a school like Michi Michigan State, where it gives access to students' names and information. And basically, the more students that um, sign up for a bank's credit cards, the more money the school gets. And also, there's programs where, the, where if there's a balance in the credit card, the school gets more money. So the fact that students have become targets of credit card lenders because they know the irresponsible spending habits of students, it's a sign that it's not a good idea. And to continue that, and the fact that it, it spells out disaster later on down the line, um, it has been shown that young Americans are now the second highest likely to file bankruptcy um, behind uh, the age range of 35 to 44 year olds. And the fact that people are claiming bankruptcy so young is a sign that credit cards are nothing but a bad idea. And basically it's gone up from 1991 to the year 2001 that that switch has happened. So as time goes on, people's spending habits of credit cards at a young age have only gotten worse. So despite the potential benefits, I think young adults should be wary of credit cards and avoid them at all costs and cut them up if they have them now before it turns into a disaster.